Okay, so um, I want to talk a little bit about percentages because I know that everyone or a lot of people struggle with percentages. This is a nice little review topic. And um, what I like to do with percentages is I like to create an equation. So um, I'll do some examples with tips and discounts after, but I just wanna show you general like approach to percentages um, that hopefully should simplify it for you, we'll see. So let's say that you want to do 20%, okay? So 20% of, um, let's make up a number here. 20% of, okay, 20% of the number 50 is what number, let's say, right? So um, what we're gonna do is convert this to an equation. So we're gonna rewrite this. Now, whenever you're calculating something with a percent and you're going to you know, do calculations, mathematical calculations, what you wanna do is convert the percent to a decimal. And every time you convert a percent to a decimal, you know, right now, technically the decimal is here after the zero, you move that decimal two places to the left, which is equivalent to dividing by a hundred. So 20% in decimal form is 0.2 or 0 0.20. So we always wanna convert the percent to a decimal. Of, every time you have of in you know, mathematics, it implies multiplication. So this dot implies multiplication. 50 is the number 50, there's nothing new about that. And is, whenever you hear is you know, in mathematics and you're writing an equation, you want to have that as the equal sign. And what, what is the unknown? So I'll call it X, a variable. So I have now this little equation here 0.2 times 50 is equal to X. And I like to put parentheses also to imply multiplication, whatever. And this is direct. You just multiply the 0.2 in the, in the 50. So 0.2 times 50, um, and I don't know if you have a calculator or not, whatever works, but should be 10. So 10 is equal to X or X is equal to 10. So what is 20% of 50? 20% of 50 is um, 10. Okay, so it's not difficult, right? Um, but there are different ways that we can ask the question of percentages. So what I mean by that is, um, let's say 20 is 15% of what number? And this is a little bit different than what we just did, right? This one said 20% of a number is what, right? So the, e, the is portion is in a different location, right? So, but I'm approaching this the same exact way. I'm gonna convert it into an equation. So, all right, so 20 is going to stay as 20. That's not a percent, it's just a number. The is is always going to be my equal when I'm converting into mathematics or math equations. 15%, that's a percent, which I wanna to change to a decimal. I move the decimal two places to the left, or if I divide 15 by 100, I get 0.15. The of implies multiplication. And what number is my unknown? So we'll call that X. So I have this little equation, oops, sorry. I have this little equation, I'll rewrite it like this. So 0.15X is equal to 20, right? And this is the same thing that I have here, but typically when I have multiplication between a number and a variable, we don't need to have a multiplication sign in the, in the middle. So anytime you have a number next to a variable like that, automatically, like directly next like this without a sign in the middle, automatically it's, um, it's multiplication, okay? So this is a little equation, not difficult to solve. If this is multiplication to get rid of the 0.15, I'm gonna divide by the 0.15 because anything divided by itself is one. So this becomes a one X and one X is just X, right? So now I have that X is equal to whatever 20 divided by 0.15 is. Um, and I got, you know, this, hold on. 20 divided by point, I'm using my, my calculator. But I got this 133.3333333. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 133 point. I'm gonna round to the nearest hundredth. So 10th, hundredth, that's two digits to the right of the decimal. So X is approximately 133.33. And I can always verify that, right? You know, I can always go in the opposite direction and take this and say, well, 15% of this number should be 20 and verify that I actually calculated that correctly. Um, now I want to, you know, talk about, let's, let's talk about a discount first, okay? I go to the store, something is like 20% off. How much am I paying or what is the amount that I'm paying? So let's say it's a shirt, right? I go to the store, I got a shirt. 
uh, shirt, shoes, whatever. And the shirt is, um, I'm making $120, it's an expensive shirt. Um, <laughs> and let's say that it's discounted, which is awesome, I like that. It's discounted, let's make it discounted 30% off because you know, $120, we want it to be a good discount. So how much am I paying before taxes, okay? I'm gonna say amount before taxes. I'm not going to include taxes right now. I'll talk about taxes after. Okay, let's say it's free tax day, no tax day. So I want to determine 30% of 120. That's my discount, right? The actual amount of the discount is 30% of 120. Now this is not what I'm paying, this is what is off, right? This is how much is off the 120, how much is taken off. This is actually the discount amount. I did not mean that to be, I don't know why that, that's a parenthesis. Anyway, so how do I determine 30% of 120? Well, we're gonna use that you know, equation kind of idea. Discount is my unknown is equal to, I'm just gonna keep this down, bring this down. 30%, 30% in terms of a decimal. Now change it to a decimal is 0.3. Of implies multiplication. 120 stays as 120. So if I want to determine the amount of the discount here, right? How much is this, you know, is coming off of this original 120, then I do the discount in percent, 30% of 120, which in this case is 36. All right, so $36 off this shirt off of 120. So how much am I paying before I actually, you know, have tax? Or this is no tax day, right? So on my amount before tax, how much I'm paying at the register because this is no tax day is 120 minus the discount 36. The original amount minus how much, you know, the discount is. And so I'm paying $84 for this shirt. Hopefully it's a nice shirt. So again, it's discounted at a percentage. So how do I determine the amount that I'm paying? Um, you know, there are two different ways of doing this. I wanna show you a different approach to this idea. Um, let me take this. So I think maybe you guys have seen this idea. Take that and copy and paste it. I'm sure you've seen this approach to finding a discount. Um, or the amount, you know, after a discount um, by taking the percentage, 30% of the original and whatever that amount is, subtracting it from the original to get, you know, the amount after the discount. And there's another approach to this. And the reason that I want to show you is because it's a little bit faster. So, how, what, you know, what makes it faster? So if, if I have a shirt that's discounted 30%, right? You know that 100% represents all of it. 100% is all, is total, right? 100%, I'm not going over 100%. I'm not paying more than 100% of something. It's discounted 30%. So, you know, if I take the original percent that I would be paying and I subtract the amount of the discount, then I'm really paying 70% of, you know, the original amount. So if it's discounted 30%, I'm paying 8% of the total. I'm paying 70%, this is how much I'm paying, of 120. Well, I could also convert this to decimal, so 0 0.70 of is multiplication, 120. I can also multiply this out, and I want to show you what happens here. 120 times 0.7 is $84. I get the same thing without the extra steps, if that makes sense. Okay, I like this approach much better because of the fact that it's a lot quicker. Um, you know, I'm going straight to what I'm paying. If I'm discounted 30%, I'm not paying 30%, I'm paying the 70%, the difference, okay? Um, so actually, what I wanna do is I want to maybe do one more example of discounting, and then I wanna show you a tip, tipping, yeah. I'm sure we all know how to do that, but or taxing or whatever. But let's say that I have shoes. I'm going and I want to buy some shoes or whatever. I don't know what you guys like to buy. Ooh. 
<laughs> All right, shoes. So these shoes are, let's say $80. <laughs> my shoes are less than my shirt. <laughs> this is not reality right now, <laughs> okay? And these shoes are discounted, which is awesome. I love discounts. Discounted 15%, okay? So, you know, I wanna buy these shoes, they're discounted 15%, that's no tax day, I'm not paying taxes. So how much am I paying? Now, if it's discounted 15%, right? Then I'm paying 100%, which would be the total amount, minus that 15%, right? I'm paying 85% of the total. So I'm paying 85% of the $80 shoes. Well, let's convert this into a decimal. 80% in decimals 0.85 of implies multiplication. 80 is 80 and 80 times 0.85 gives me 68. So I'm paying $68, oops, that's not a percent. I'm paying $68 before tax, okay? All right, so again, if it's discounted 15%, I'm paying 85% the difference, and then 85% of 80 would be $68. So this is a different approach to percentages. Um, I personally uh, prefer this approach. So um, let me do tips in another video, and so my videos are not too long, and I'll come back to you.